So I'm checking out the you know, New York City uh, subway map. Um, see, I mean, it's this, it's just a basic, you know, uh, uh, fundamental principle. Why? <laughs> I get it, like, you, you should start from the Bronx, and, uh, you know, I guess, you know, Connecticut is right here, right? You got Westchester, right? Or is that New York? It doesn't matter. But, you know, what? I, I, I get it, you have one, two, three... Uh, there's five, uh, uh, there's that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lines going down. And here they meet. Here they meet and they become the four, five, six. So now you have, uh, you know, line six over here. And there's the four and the five. And you have three, what? Uh, three uh, cars simultaneously running over here. And I get it, it's congested, it's busy. But, all right, let's say you have, uh, let's just get over here in Manhattan, right? You could have the grid. You got Central Park right in the middle. All right. I mean, even if though it's the middle, it would be nice to have a subway system and have a train a subway integrated here. Obviously, it's a park, so you can't change it now. But one line going through the middle, and you have lines like a grid, like a grid going through the side. Let's say you're, uh, well, see that's to Manhattan. Over here, you could have one line, and it could bring to the main terminal. You know, except you know, yeah. Uh, Maybe we could, um, there could be two terminals as well. I mean, there'll be a lot of people. I mean, an earlier video how, you know, in Brooklyn, it, it's just, you know, it, it's ridiculous. Like, you go, I went once from uh, from Williamsburg, uh, Bedford Avenue, right here, to, well, let me see, uh, Flatbush. Or even, you know, uh, yeah, I went to somewhere around Flatbush. It took me like 30, 40 minutes. You know, I could easily just take a bicycle and just ride it. Or, uh, you know, I can't, I mean, even a car. So what is the purpose? You know, what is the point? You know, it just takes so so much. And even here, it could be a better grade. I mean, this is a mess. What is this? Because some people want to get to over here. All right, but, you know, if you just have a grid, it'd be just more efficient, you know. And even my hand. It, yeah, I like the, the uh, you know, the, the subway lines going all the way down. I mean, this is just chaos right here. I, it's actually, wh when was this established? Like, who, who created this? You know, where, where was the people minds at for this? You know, and yeah, you have one going to. Uh, well, this is Queens. Uh, Brooklyn is right here. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, four, five subway lines, and what? Like a, is this like four or five miles? Even if it's seven, eight miles, it's under ten miles area. Let's say ten miles. Five subway lines going to the same direction, and, and and this is absurd too. Like, what is the purpose of this? Uh, you know, it's like one, two, three, four, five. That's the Manhattan Bridge, but B, D, N, Q, A, C. Those are different uh, subway lines. And, you know, A and C have the same color blue, except you don't see it on the subway car. A lot of times, you know, you might catch the A, but it just says, oh, it's going to like uh, this street. And you don't know where it's going. I already talked about that. But this is about the lines, you know. Even if you had one to the north, one to the south over here, you know. Maybe, you know, one to the middle will be uh, to compact it. Unless you had like a grand grand system where there was like four or five different lines going. Uh, you know, maybe that. Uh, I just feel like, you know, yeah, let's say one line here. Like this is the green one and the blue and orange, you know. Uh one and two and then you know every like three or four blocks or maybe five blocks you had going from uh from west to east you know so if you want to go over here and you want to go to this place you go down here and eventually you go you'll take a subway system there but it should be much more efficient you know i mean there could be studies about traffic or congestion where people commute the most and you know it could be integrated uh or assigned towards that not you know like you know uh, Tuesday morning, you know, 10, 11 a.m., there's, you have all the subway cars running or something. You know, on Saturday night, there's like 100, 200 people waiting for one car and everybody packed in. When it's the weekend, everybody's, you know, either going to a bar or there's more commuters. I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense, you know. And especially with the coronavirus, it's actually more dangerous. I'm not talking about people, uh, you know, shooting someone on the subway. That happens too, but, I mean, do people even care about that? What about the stress level? You stand and you around all of people. Now, it could be done better, much more efficient, and eventually, I'm pretty sure you'll make a lot more money. I mean, 
you know, like that, like that movie Matt Damon said, you know, that movie, that movie Matt Damon was saying, you're in America, you don't like to make money, then you're a douchebag, you know, I mean, whoever, you know, still running this stuff, you know, the MTA, I mean, they're a bunch of douchebags, for a better, better word, and I got a lot of experience with them, they are, on a personal level, let alone how, you know, it is, uh, operated and how it is uh how i mean how it <laughs> how it is built and this is ridiculous pathetic and i don't hear well you know the 50s 60s well you know what didn't have any brains then now there's no excuse for that and then you have hold these lines over here uh here let me see 9th subway map Large type subway map material here. All these lines over here. I want uh, is the B, the Q, and, and then it's like you know, and then it jumps over here. We could have just one, two, three, four, five, six. In a way, like uh, uh, maybe four or five blocks is too much. I mean, I don't know. It just it could be done so much. You know, even with the subway, the things you could do. Uh, let's say by a subway pass, and you also get. Uh, you know, maybe it could be a weekly or monthly fee for like, you know, other transportation, like scooters, easy handles you could take in and just, I know the works, you know, just, I just, people don't, people t uh, tend not to work with each other. And whether it should be a private industry, whether it's private industry, probably is, I was told that you can't have public toilets, like I couldn't start my own business with public toilets in the subway because the new NYPD would have a trouble and they'll push me off the block. I'll have to like kiss their ass, I have to ask them per first, like, why should I talk to the NYPD? You know, uh, they're all working with each other and they're just, you know, they're the muscle. And, you know, considering, you know, how, how it looks, you know, I'm pretty sure Giuseppe and, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, another, into <laughs> another Italian name, are pretty are, you know, using their brains for this. Pretty much, that's their land right there. You know, New Italia. You know, I'm like degrading the whole Italian culture. A lot of them were Italian and they treat me very disrespectfully, so I don't give a fuck about you. But, you know, uh, enough about the guineas. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. I don't like that word, but fuck prison. You know, uh, yeah, this is this is dumb. This is very stupid. Very uh, just unaware of how to make things better, lessen people's time, money, efficiency, let alone use the power to run it. You know how much energy is wasted on this? How many cars I've seen? Uh, and it was just like so many cars, and they were just bored on empty. I mean, you're wasting all that energy. You know, New Jersey Transit is like you know pretty much the same as that. Pretty disgusting on there too. Path is a little bit better, I, I saw. But New Jersey Transit and the MTA is just horrible. Like, I'm not talking about coronavirus. All sorts of germs and diseases, like, you know, probably on the, the subway cars. You know, a gunman's gonna take you out. So, uh, some infection disease might take you out on the subway too. Including if stress doesn't get to you, you don't have a heart attack. Because it is very stressful and aggravating to just, you know, commute on an every, everyday basis. You know? Do I love Brooklyn and Manhattan? Uh, as far as what it could be, yeah. And, and it is uh, great to some degree, too. You know? And yeah, I do talk about what it could be. Uh, a lot of you don't even talk about what it is. Because some of you won't even admit what this is about. You know, you have no brain capability, though. But, I mean, yeah. It, and they, the way they just... This is like Chinatown. It's downtown Manhattan. You got World Trade Center right here. You know, you got... World Trade Center right here. This is Chinatown. Uh, you know, yeah, there's this bridges. There's like, you know, three bridges right here. I guess, you know, people do commute often. Uh, I don't know. It just the, the subway system is a mess, you know. And yeah, people spend money on that too. It is cheaper to a certain degree, but it does frustrate you like you wouldn't believe. Uh, you know, the, the way it's designed and the way how, you know, uh, the way it could be. Could it be changed and like, you know, dug out? That's a lot of work, right? You know, maybe it's just too late, but I don't know. Maybe they, we got, you know, the, the, there's other alternatives to transportation that just, you know, uh, it's an old technology because people just, you know, they didn't know what to do with it properly.